Welcome to Smoky CNC Woodworks. I'm Brian, and I've got my protection. This is just a little bandana mask that my wife actually showed me how to make. She had seen it somewhere, and I started looking at it, and I thought, you know, I can add a little twist to that to make it just a little bit better so it can fit more than just an adult male. So if it's too small for your wife or daughter, you can tighten it up a little bit with the way I'm going to show you. Just something kind of an added extra. I mean, this isn't the normal kind of thing I do on my woodworking channel, but it's just some added information. And the other thing you got to look at, this could work well as a dusk mask too. And it's real quick, real easy, real cheap to make. So why not show you guys? So here we go. Okay, so what you need is just a regular old bandana, two women's hair ties, and I've added in here, oh, we're going to call it 18 inches of, this is rope. I would actually prefer to use string, and you may be able to use a strong thread, but if you're in a shop, rope's what I got. So, the way she showed me, my wife showed me how to do this, was to take your bandana, fold it in half, and fold that in half again, flip it over, take your, bed, your hair tie, slide it down, fold that piece over, hair tie, slide it down, fold that piece over. You've taken it, you fold it, you've ran the bandana through the hair ties, and it's as simple as this. So I'm going to add a little twist to this because I see a way to make this fit a smaller face. If you have a child or sometimes women's faces are a little bit smaller, I've got a little twist to tighten it up. Okay, so like I said, I would actually prefer to use string for this, but you are in a shop, so this is what you get. So all you do is run this under both sides and right at where this ties in, do a simple knot in front of your hairband. <laughs> and I'm going to flip it over, tie it off on this side. Okay, now don't clip your excess yet. We're going to try to try this see how this fits before we start clipping any of the extra string or rope. So we haven't trimmed any of the string or rope off this. So we'll just try to fit it. Put it around your ears. And fit it to your face. And so there you go. So the reason this will work better is if you have a smaller faced child, you can take it and squeeze it down and tie it off and it'll work for their smaller face. So there we go. I'll trim the rope off. We'll be done. And we've got a completed mask. There you go. So like I was saying, if you wanted to pinch it down and tie it, you know, just a little tighter like that for a child's face would work well. And so one thing you could look at this for, I am in a wood shop. So this could be a dust mask for a child or your wife if you don't have an extra one laying around. You saw my larger bandana here. I was really worried about this little project because I've got a really big head. I've got a fat head. I'll wear a set between a seven and five eighths and a seven and seven eighths hat, which is large. And, you know, I thought I'd need a bigger bandana, but I didn't. This is just a regular size bandana. Just something kind of easy and quick, kind of ease your nerves about a lot of this stuff that's going on out here. And you know, they're recommended now that we wear a mask for any kind of little protection we can get. So guys, I just wanted to share that with y'all. That's gonna be it for this one. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe and I'll see y'all next time.